Welcome everybody to an orchestra team how-to video for SAP Business One. Today we're going to look at how to run SAP Business One on a Mac. Orchestra deploys SAP Business One to multiple environments using Citrix ZenApp fundamentals. Uh, we deploy Business One obviously to Windows but also uh, to both Mac and Linux environments. Uh, and today we're going to look at specifically how we do that on a Mac. So let's go ahead and jump right in and move that out of the way and bring over Firefox. Uh, so we just go to our login page which I have set up as a bookmark here. Orchestra has also set up our login page as a subdomain of our website as you can see here our toolbar, our address bar. I just go ahead and log in. Login credentials. And you of course uh, can have these login credentials saved. I just happen to know them so I type them in. And when I log in, we come to our Citrix applications. These are the applications that uh, we have deployed uh, using ZenApp Fundamentals. And we have the three basic applications associated with Business One. Uh, the application itself, here in the middle, in the, middle uh, the data transfer workbench, which is used to import data into SAP, and also the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. We'll go ahead and click on SAP Business One which if we see down here in our, in our toolbar or our dock as it's known to uh, Mac users we see the Business One icon launch. Uh, to the end user it looks as if Business One is launching just like all the other applications uh, on, on their Mac in their dock. Uh, to the technical person though if you hover over you can see that this is actually the Citrix ICA client which is used to publish the information over the web uh, from the application on the server. So from a technical standpoint, we know that the information is passing up over the web. Uh, from an end-user standpoint, it appears as if the Business One application is being launched directly on the desktop. And so what we have here is SAP Business One. Uh, if I go ahead and just minimize this, get this out of the way, uh, we can see we have Business One right here on the Mac. Go ahead and bring up an invoice. Bring up uh, an invoice here with some data in it. Right, just a few back. Okay. Uh, we can see that I can resize this window. I can make it bigger. Uh, I can move it around. I don't see any of the lag associated with uh, remote desktop. I can minimize this application. When I minimize it, it drops it down into my dock like all of my other uh, Mac applications. Bring it right back up. As you can see, it's nice and seamless. We don't see any of that delay. Uh, to show that this is absolutely on a Mac, I can bring over, I have iCal running here. iCal is a native Mac application. It's the calendaring uh, solution here with the Mac. So I can have it uh, running right next to Business One. As you can see, we don't have any of the issues associated with running one application on top of another with Business One. I can switch right back and forth. I don't see any of that uh, kind of lag that, that you see every once in a while in, in other uh, deployments. Uh, and a really cool feature of this is my access to my localized data. You know, one of the big challenges with remote desktop is when I want to save a PDF or an Excel file or something uh, from Business One onto my local hard drive and I want to e easily email that. That can be a cumbersome challenge. But with Citrix, uh, as far as the end user is concerned, it's very much like Business One is right here on their desktop. So, for example, uh, instead of in looking at an invoice, if we go ahead and run a report, we look at sales analysis, and we just go ahead and run it for customers. If I go to Excel and I want to export this data out to Excel and I click my drop down, I can see that I have a, uh, an option here for client. If I click that, uh, my Mac always asks me if I want to allow that. It's a security feature that I've turned on. And I can see here's my Mac folders. If I click desktop, I can see that uh, I can save the application or I can save this file directly to my desktop. Just say save and there it is. And so it's that easy. Uh, I don't have to have any uh, you know, mapping of drives or anything like that. Uh, it's very seamless, very simple. And there you have it. SAP Business One running right on a Mac using Citrix ZenApp Fundamentals. Uh, here at Orchestra we, don't, we wouldn't recommend anything that we don't use ourselves and every single person at Orchestra uh, we use ZenApp Fundamentals from Citrix to use SAP Business One in all of our environments, including Windows, Linux, and a Mac. And we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.